hello guys welcome to the next video on C programming for beginners and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use switch statement in C now in the last two videos I've been showing you how to use if else conditions and multiple if else conditions in C and switch statements are also condition based statements but they are little uh, different in a sense that uh, you can uh, use uh, conditions with a uh, switch statement but conditions must, must be constant con conditions so uh, let me give you an example and then you will understand how a uh, switch statement works in C so first of all we will see how switch statements are declared in C okay so the basic syntax of switch statements is like this okay so I will just delete this for now and so that you can you know see what is the basic uh, switch statement uh, code so switch statement start from this switch keyword and then comes these two brackets and in here comes the expression expression is something which you want to you know validate on the basis of uh, some case right now inside these two curly braces comes some cases so case and then some constant expression I will give you an example uh, this is just the syntax I want to show you so case and then comes some condition or constant expression right and then comes this colon and inside or down uh, under this uh, case comes the statement or the code which you want to execute here right now after this code is executed you uh, break this switch statement with this break keyword so this is an optional uh, keyword sometimes you don't need this break sometimes you need uh, this break and I will tell you where exactly you need this break and where you don't need this break right in the same way you can have multiple cases inside your switch conditions and whenever you know uh, whatever condition is not covered by your case is covered by this default so if none of the case is uh, true this will be executed which is uh, a default case so, so default case starts with this keyword default colon and then your case now let's see an example and then we will be able to understand it much better so for example uh, we want to calculate the grade of a student and on the basis of grade we want to give some message or print some message so for example int and uh, let's say student scores some marks so I will name my variable as marks and on the basis of marks we want to decide uh, if the student uh, is excellent or whatever good or uh, very good or he has scored uh, poor grades okay so now we use switch statement switch and I told you then comes then uh, an expression and this expression will be our mark mark because uh, on the basis of this mark we are going to evaluate uh, some cases and on the basis of cases we will execute some code but first of all let's assign some value to mark for example uh, 90 percent of mark or 80 or whatever you want to decide right now mark is our expression which we will evaluate the value of mark we will evaluate and then comes these two curly braces and inside these curly braces comes the case right case and then your uh, 
mark value so different value of mark we can evaluate right now mark is equal to 90 but for example mark can be 80 or 70 or 60 or whatever right so for example mark is uh, equal to 90 then we want to print 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 f and we want to print this is an excellent grade right excellent okay and then the same semicolon and then we will break okay now comes the second case for example the, in the in this case we want to evaluate mark is equal to 80 right and let me give some indents here and when grade is 80 or for example 75 we will say that he has scored very good grade for example okay so we will print instead of excellent we will print very good okay in the similar way uh, you can just add break here and break is nothing but a keyword which breaks uh, this switch case and I will explain you what it does but let me add uh, two more conditions and these two conditions will be first is 60% uh, of marks and then we will say good the grades are good or we will say 50% of marks and or 40% of mark and we will say grades are okay or poor or whatever the, this is just an example or otherwise we will say if the grades are not 90 or 75 or 60 or 40 there can be grade which uh, is not covered by these cases then we will have the default case default and this case covers any value other than uh, covered by these cases right so we will print grade un av available okay so let's uh, you know run this program and let's see uh, how it works okay so I will just compile and run this program and it says excellent right and that's what it must do because you see marks is equal to 90 so it assigns uh, mark is equal to 90 right and then we are checking the value of 90 using this switch statement and because mark is 90 it goes to this case case where mark is equal to 90 then it prints this message and what this break does is it, if, if the case is fulfilled then we want to break out of this switch statement and we won't don't want to execute any other uh, statement other than or whatever is fulfilling our case right so it prints excellent and it breaks out of the switch statement and whenever your C program sees this break statement it jumps out of your switch case right at the end of the switch case okay now for example our marks are 75 then let's see what's the answer or what it, what it prints it prints very good which is true right so in the case of 75 it mark is equal to 75 and it's so uh, it uh, search for the case for 75 it's if the case 75 is present it will print your uh, value or it will execute whatever code you will write here and then it will see uh, this breaks 
keyword and it jumps out of this switch statement but the important thing here is the case 90 is not executed because the code inside this case 90 is not executed because the case is not uh, 90 marks mark is 75 the value of mark we are checking right so value of mark is not 90 value of mark is not 60 value of not mark is not 40 but value of mark right now is uh, 75 that's why we have executed this code or c has executed this code but other codes are not executed okay so on the basis of these cases you can define multiple cases and whatever case is fulfilled at a time that code will be executed or code inside that case will be executed otherwise code will not be executed okay now you may ask uh, that this code can be 95 also and then also the student has scored uh, excellent marks right so in order to do this for example for covering 95 grade or other grades for example like this and if the grade is 95 still we want to print this uh, excellent grade so what you do you just use case 95 and you uh, don't execute any code inside this case and you don't give any break here so this means whenever you give a case without any code and without any break here it this means that this and this uh, are the conditions which are covered and if either of those conditions are fulfilled then this code will be executed okay so if the mark is equal to 95 it sees here that case 95 and it jumps to the next case and it's uh, because it's not breaking anywhere so it jumps to the next case right if there will be a break here this kind of break keyword then it jumps out of, out of your switch code but because we are not giving here this break it jumps to the next condition and executes the next statement which is print excellent so let's see what happens when uh, grades are 95 and we will compile our code and it says excellent and this is what we were expecting because there is no bre break inside this case 95 so it jumps to the next case uh, in the series of cases for in this same way you can provide same cases for for example 97 or even 85 you can do 85 here 85 and all those four cases will covered or will be covered by this statement okay in a similar way whenever you want to have a very good uh, grade you can cover 70 or 75 also so 70 or 75 without giving this break keyword break keyword break your uh, statement and go out of your statement okay for example grade is right now 75 75 and we will compile and run the program it says very good right so you can cover different cases and execute a same statement using or, or without using this break uh, keyword okay so this is how you uh, use switch cases in c programming i hope you have understood the basic concept of switch cases and i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now